in we get to the taxi, my mum's car, and it's hot in here. <laughs> it is so hot in here, and I'm pretty sure Monaco is going to be even hotter. We're going to head to the airport now, and I'm going to video blog along the way um, and uh, introduce to you guys what's going to be happening over the week. Explain how these video blogs are going to work because my flight is at six o'clock and I land at five to five past nine uh, French time, which will mean that it's near impossible for me to get well, it is impossible for me to get my uh, daily video blog up at seven p.m. So I'll decide when I get to the uh, hotel how good the Wi-Fi is and see if I can get these video blogs up every single day. If not, this video blog, so the Monday's video blog will be going live Tuesday. Tuesday's video blog will be going live Wednesday and so on and so on. So um, I'm pretty excited. I'm also very, very nervous. I don't know what I'm more nervous about. Video blogging in public and having the camera pointed to me and me talking to myself in public with a lot of people around, like the airport, um, or getting on my first flight by myself. I've never flown by myself, not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. Um, if you've flown by yourself, how was it? I've always been flying with either family um, or friends. So uh, this is very much no lads on tour, as you see in the airport a lot with the uh, t-shirts and the nicknames on the back as they head off to Magaluf or Ibiza. Um, this is very much a um, kid, I don't even know what to describe it. Kid on, I'm not on tour. Kid on film duty. <laughs> so uh, let's head to the airport and um, then get really embarrassed as I video blog in front of hundreds of people. Good times. <laughs> At the airport, world's biggest rip-off. Two pounds for 15 minutes to drop off people. <coughs> Mum telling me some nice reassuring stories of planes in storms. As I get out of the car, which is always nice. And I think this is my worst fear. Video blogging in public. I think it's worse than school plays being the uh, main character in some sort of school play. At least you're with your mates. Here. I'm not with anyone, I'm by myself, flying for the first time, and uh, video blogging for all you guys to uh, see what I get, to, get up to on the way. School holidays. And everyone is going abroad. Lucky I'm not checking any bags in. Just one. I like Aleem's 10, so it's going to be a quick one today. I'm just going to put some headphones in to stop people coming up and talking to me whilst I'm filming and ruining my video blog. What a plan. No one's going to talk to me now. Here's my flight. Six PM. Time is five past four. Plan is going to head to the depart departure gate, do the passport control, security checks, all that sort of stuff. So I can't film there, and then uh, head through to duty free security. Head through to duty free, and then continue to video blog. Need to pick up a few bits and uh, just get ready to head to Monaco and then capture all those supercars that you challenged me to find, which is gonna be a long list. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Departure lounge. My gate opens in 45 minutes, so I've still got ages to wait. So uh, I'm just gonna try and find some shops that I need and uh, maybe I'll get some food as well. I'm so thirsty. It is so hot. And uh, the journey up here, there was a bit of traffic, but not too bad. Trying to find somewhere quiet. It is so busy in there. Uh, just decided to go for a walk around the airport. And I've needed my boarding pass more times to buy things than I have to actually get places in terms of food security or anything like that. I haven't shown my passport yet, which is quite worrying. Um, so I'm just going for a wander. There's literally no one about down here. Go for a wander 
and um, just wait for my plane, which I've got about 45 minutes to wait for. Then I'll film the takeoff, if I'm allowed, the landing, if I'm allowed, and then once I get a taxi to Monaco, I'll introduce you to my taxi driver, who I have no idea who he is. I'm just gonna get one out there. So, see you in a bit. Oh, it's so hot. Just managed to find a quiet uh, place in the airport, away from all of the duty-free stuff, and, um, yeah, just having a chill out before my flight. I've still got 45 minutes to wait. It's so hot. When I get to Monaco, um, it's time to jump in a cab and get to my hotel, which I'm the one that can check in, even though my friend, who you'll meet in a bit once I get to Monaco, has been in Monaco for a good 12 hours or so. So really good organizing by us. <laughs> He's just been hanging around, I assume, filming supercars. But um, yep, 45 minutes to go, guys. And I'm bored. literally just watched my flight get delayed by an hour so now it is five o'clock gates don't open for another hour and ten minutes one hour delay estimated time now at seven o'clock good times So we've managed to make it to Nice. I'm now in a taxi to our hotel. The time is, or the local time is 20 past 10, so around an hour delay, which is normal because there was an hour delay flight. Um, if you haven't flown into Nice Airport, it's a bit like the Grand Theft Auto 5 Airport. There's water both sides, so every time you come in, you always think you're gonna be landing in the water until the last minute and then the land appears, so good times. And uh, unfortunately, because it's dark, we're not going to get a very nice view of the French Riviera, which is unfortunate, but hopefully over the next few days, I'll be able to bring you guys some action. What's going to happen once we get to the hotel is I'm going to check in, uh, dump my bags, and then charge this camera up so that we can head out um, and have a bit of a midnight hunt, because I think by the time we get to the hotel, it's going to be near enough midnight. I need to have some food. I need to find some uh, paracetamol or painkillers for my headache, because it's killing me and um, we're just gonna see what Monaco on a Monday is gonna bring. So uh, we're gonna go out at midnight, see what we can find. 100 euros down. Made it to our, made it to our hotel. The time is 11 o'clock and we're just gonna go out, try and find some uh, food and some supercars, of course. Made it in Monaco.
back up. Time is 10 to 1 in the morning. Hair's all over the place. And uh, we've seen some cool cars. Uh, a good welcome to Monaco. I'm getting out of breath, walking up the hill. If you've been to Monaco, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hills everywhere, as it's built on a hill. So hope tomorrow we'll see daylight. I uh, will give you a tour around the hotel without getting kicked out for filming. And uh, then we'll go and find some supercars. And I still need to show you that magic t-shirt. So maybe I'll jump in a swimming pool with that t-shirt on. Which is be really weird because it's going to be like 30 degrees tomorrow. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my um, annoying and very forgettable journey to Monaco with the train delay and a 100 euro taxi. Fantastic. Should have paid 115 euros and got a helicopter. But we live and learn. Look at my hair. Everywhere. And I'm out of breath. So make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Monaco day two.